our relationship with a child where we unconditionally love them, we engage with them, you know, spending time with them just to have a chat, you know, might get an ice cream together or, you know, might go down, you know, for a walk on the beach, ride a bike together, lots of different things, you know. A lot of people complain about their kids being on the computer all the time. Well, sometimes instead of trying to get the kid off the computer, see about joining in. You know, sometimes it's fun to play a little bit of a computer game and then you can go, okay, enough of that. It'd be really nice if we go outside, let's go and kick a ball or, you know, let's let's do something together that doesn't involve the screens. And we do in our culture need to reduce our reliance on TV, tablets and phones significantly because they're extraordinarily unhealthy. So... Given that part of the sort of pitch that I'm giving to dads here is about raising sons, let me be a little bit more specific about raising sons in this context. And so, you know, the first thing, as as always, is creating a secure attached relationship wherein that your son feels safe and secure. It's going to pay off down in the long run. They're going to make better decisions. They're going to be more engaged. Uh, with the family, there's going to be less conflict most of the time. There's still going to be conflict. So it's really important and be prepared to think about how you're going to deal with your son when the going is not so good. Because most of us are pretty good when everything's going okay, i.e. the child's doing what they're told, the child is being the way that we expect them to be, but they're not always going to do that. In fact, a lot of kids don't do that, period. So I need to search my soul to go, I need that acceptance without coercion, without dominance and without control, which we're socialised into in in a patriarchal environment like we have. Um, You're also going to need to be aware of the ebbs and flows in the relationship. We're not always 100% engaged. That could be my stuff or it could be your son's stuff. You know, if stuff is not going well and, you know, we could spend hours defining stuff, um, he might be a little bit withdrawn. It doesn't mean that something's wrong, but he might be preoccupied with something. And it's important to be responsive. So take out here is be responsive, not reactive. If you, if you feel angry and if you feel too angry to uh, regulate that anger, take time out, back off. Focus on the values with your child, being loving, being respectful, being cooperative. Allow them to see that and encourage it to come from them as well. So rather than creating more rules, and and this particularly in the last eight months or so has been a bugbear for me in the work that I do is is the sort of tight, restrictive rules that we put on kids. And for kids with ADD, for example, or any sort of uh, psychological distress or disturbance, rules are just going to make them butt the system more. They're just going to react more negatively. Um, So we need to really, you know, and as I always talk about, in that adolescent period, be more of a consultant rather than a manager. Coach them. Um, But first and foremost, in in many respects, is that stuff about being a role model. Um, You know, I work with kids who, you know, they're trying alcohol, weed, you know, all the other drugs, and the parents are up in arms about, you know, how much, you know, how much trouble this kid's going to get into because they're using drugs. But some parents don't look at their own behaviour. And I think that's... And when they go, oh, my children don't know, uh, I'd have to challenge you. Kids are extraordinarily perceptive. If nothing else, they'll pick up on a shift in mood and behaviour. So let's be clear. On a positive note, think about it this way. Yes, it's Father's Day weekend, but it's not just celebrating one day. It's celebrating our relationship with our children very intentionally. You know, I've been very, very blessed in having two fantastic kids who are now tremendous adults raising 
their own children in the best possible way that I can see. And again, no one's perfect, but I have so much respect for them as people and I've always felt that I had that, whether they were two years old and now as adults. And I think that that's, it. that's an important element in loving each other because it comes back. I feel very, very loved by my kids and my grandkids. So until next time, I hope that takes it into a new realm. I'm going to continue uh, a little bit more specifically about some things. I'm, you know, I'm going to talk about kids with real challenges um, and, you know, how we approach dealing with them, including treatments. So until next time, this is me signing off. And for those of us in Australia, all those dads have a fantastic Father's Day weekend. Thank you for listening to Inspire Change with Gunter. Gunter Swoboda does individual and group coaching for men looking to grow. For more information on this and the global Making Good Men Great movement, check out goodmengreat.com to get into contact. If you have a topic for the show or would like to be a guest on the air, please email producers at Miranda at Nortainment.com. That's Miranda, M-I-R-A-N-D-A, at Nortainment, N-O-I-R-T-A-I-N-M-E-N-T.com. Thank you, and always keep inspiring change.